Hi there everyone, Rob here with today's Western Pacific weather update. It's currently July the 5th, 2012 and out here in the Western Pacific today we have been watching our Invest 96W. It is now located right about here, has moved away from the Philippines, not before dropping a copious amount of rainfall, but as you can see a lot of that upper air convection has dissipated out here. Therefore, uh, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center actually had this as a TCFA this time yesterday was downgraded to a low area and now it is nothing but meanwhile though still in the tropics we are continuing to watch this area near Palau and another area farther off towards the east and not to mention the fact that we still have the southwest monsoon and much of southeastern Asia is really getting pummeled by but some heavy rainfall here and also look off towards the north the rainy season boundary is still bringing some rain there towards northeastern China where there has been devastating floods over the past several days here up to about 100 to 200 millimeters has occurred in many locations across here the Korean Peninsula as well but you really do need the rain but fortunately sometimes it's coming down a little bit too heavy at times and if we take a look at the radar imagery actually coming out of uh, Korea at this time you can see some of these areas here on the radar, especially across portions of South Korea, extending out towards Busan here, uh, seeing up to about 30 to 40 millimeters per hour all into this rain band here. So this is going to be increasing the threat of yet further flooding. And even over towards western Japan, you have still been seeing this heavy rainfall recently. And the threat of flooding is going to also be continuing to persist for you here. And also off towards the north, some actually thunderstorm activity is pushing in out of the Sea of Japan, piling up on the northwestern portions of the Japanese Alps. Uh, some really rough weather could be felt there, up to about 50 millimeters an hour. And even into Okaya, where you have been experiencing some very excessive heat, up to about the low 30s. So uh, plenty of rough weather to go around out here into the west release. Now let's look back down to the east release, though, into the tropics, specifically across Indochina, because the satellite imagery current is showing widespread convection across much of Thailand, extending out towards the north, even over towards Cambodia here, and all the way down towards Malaysia. You are experiencing uh, some fairly heavy rainfall. Let's take a look at the WMO's reports over the past 24 hours, because some of these are very intense. And unfortunately, with the southwest monsoon continuing to kick up here, I don't think that uh, it's really going to be backing off uh, into the near future. But these are just some reports coming out of Thailand, right around Phuket there, up to about 70 millimeters of rainfall. Also, we have some areas extending off towards the east. Look at this one out of Vietnam, 144 millimeters into the past 24 hours. Already widespread rainfall. Really, uh, any more rain here is not going to be helpful. If you remember this time last year, we had the start of the absolutely devastating flood that occurred across Thailand here. And you can just see another report here above 100 millimeters. And even over towards the Philippines uh, from our Invest 96W, some places here still recorded in the past 24 hours after it moved away up to about 134 millimeters of rainfall. So very devastating rain. Much of this area already widespread reports of flooding and landslides. You have those two reports of deaths that came out of the Philippines. And also numerous houses submerged. Actually, uh, not only here, but also off towards the north. We're talking about that rainy season front in northeastern China. Look at some of these reports coming out of here. So uh, this is really a very useful website as well for everybody that uh, does not refer to the Worldwide Meteorological Organization. Uh, on the front page of westernpacificweather.com, we have that search for local weather. And it is kind of a Google search, but it only specifically goes through this particular website, and it brings up official weather from numerous locations around the world. And also this, if you search up the severe weather from the WMO, so you could use this as well. So that's what's current happening. Let's take a look at what's going to be happening throughout the remainder of your week here on your Wednesday and going into Thursday. We do have that rainy season boundary over northeastern China extending out towards Korea. Expect that to continue to push towards the east into Japan by the end of the week. Let's look at this down here. That is a Friday overnight into Sunday. So with that said, actually we might be seeing some heavy rainfall uh, throughout your weekend actually into the Kanto area as that continues to push off there towards the east. And then another system will be developing over northeastern China in the next week. But let's go back. Because the tropics, as far as anything significant, still the GFS model is not picking up on anything. We still have some flare-ups there in the South China Sea. So it could be pumping some rain showers into the Philippines. And also the southwest monsoon continues to hit uh, portions of Indochina here where you have been experiencing this very heavy rain. But this is just the GFS. Let's take a look at no
and go through the next several days here nothing very significant coming out of this as well you have that same system actually blowing up over Japan but as far as the tropics just really the only thing picking up on this is the southwest monsoon going through all the way to the end of the model run and this is on your Thursday of next week on July the 12th and really the only thing I see here is just southeast of Guam a little spin up but always remember near the end of the model run uh, it doesn't really get too accurate at that time. You always get kind of these anomalies, but it doesn't really indicate that we do have some places out here to watch with the easterlies. And always remember, it is the Western Pacific. I say this very often. You can always have systems just spin up kind of out of nowhere where the models don't pick up on, especially those areas that I pointed out at the beginning of the cast here and also here. Uh, vertical wind shear is a little bit high from the north, and also you have a lot of dry air flowing in, but... If those do start to weaken, these could overcome those effects and develop. But at this time, still not expecting anything. But that is all for right now, everybody. Thanks again for watching here at WesternPacificWeather.com. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, as always, please post them in the comment box below. I always do appreciate that feedback. And anyway, I can improve on these updates. Also, I do want to remind you, we're trying to add some new features to WesternPacificWeather.com. We're getting a huge new viewership into our, our website here. I really appreciate everybody that's continuing to watch. But if you do want to donate on the front page, we have that donate button. Always really do welcome that. We're trying to add a search bar at this time so you can search up your local weather. Also, uh, reminding you, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Western Pacific Weather or follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Robert Spetta. Also, I have my cast uh, throughout the day at NHK World. Please do go check that out as well. So stay safe out there, everybody. Have a great day, and thanks again for watching. Bye.